There he is, John DeResta. What's up, dude? What's up, dude? Okay, man, we just did a Pocket Party podcast. Pocket Party. It's going to be almost episode 200, and you've done several of these with me. I appreciate you. Look at you, man. You got the rings on. You got the watch. Bam. It's a Rolex. It's a ro- oh, is it? Look, Rolex. It's kind of funny. It looks a little bit small. Like it, Two like Ks. It, like it might be uh, like your wife's watch or something, but uh, the, the rings are very manly. Two Ks, a Rolex. <laughs> a Rolex. Oh, I got you. <laughs> when you said 2K, I thought you meant like $2,000, no, bro. Two Ks. Two Ks. I used to wear a Bolivia. I got a question for you. Go ahead. Um, if you could, and these came in, I asked, I go, hey, I got to have John DeResta on, and people got asked it. a bunch of questions on the podcast. I want to know, they, the crowd wants to know, the listeners want to know. If we're going to keep it topical, if you could loot any store, uh-huh. and, and 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 it'd be okay to loot. We'll just we'll put a positive spin, and it'd be okay to do it. What store would you loot? Uh, I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is some kind of Mac store because if I'm just grabbing things, I could probably get a hundred thousand dollars worth of computers and phones. Yeah. Um, but then again, um, what, what I got to say, which is funny because I know you and you don't know much about computers. Oh, no, fact. just it's a, just for the value. <laughs> That'd be hilarious if you're you're picking all the wrong computers. It's like on Super Shop or I was Supreme Store or whatever. I would just yeah. get all meat. I yeah. would just fill up with Filet Mignon. <laughs> um, but in the end, I'd probably go to a cigar store so I could stack up boxes or a marijuana store and just get a whole bunch of... Uh, canisters i like to steal that's why they call it boosting yeah it makes you feel good it boosts you when you that's what they do when you were an nypd officer back in the day back in the 80s and right. the early 90s did you uh did you did, did you ever see people like big groups of people looting like this no like, no no, like, no 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 well you gotta remember i worked in the subway yeah so the only steady theft that i saw was when i worked midnights i would steal office supplies thank you <laughs> oh and you know what um, the turnstile, right? Wouldn't people jump the turnstile? People jump the turnstile. But here's another thing. Yeah. In the precinct when we worked, um, to photograph the criminals, you had to use a Polaroid camera. Yeah. And the film was always gone because the guys would steal it for their own oh. camera. It was always gone. Wow. Yeah. I like to boost. That's hilarious. That's what they call it. They say it, it you get a boost. You, you get a boost, right? I still do it at Home Depot. Yeah. You know with the self-check? Yeah. That should be called two for one. <laughs> Yeah. Has anybody ever said, hey, sir, did you... Dude, uh, 100%. Excuse me, sir. Uh, you have like a six of those, but the receipt says one. And I go, oh, uh, I never used self-pay before. I, I don't know how it works. Meanwhile, I'm covered with paint and sawdust, and they see me there four times a day. <laughs> That's hilarious. Yeah. Um, okay, we got another question for you, because you're not only a comedian, an actor... You also do woodworking. You you make custom made tables. In right. fact, you did that behind us. I've been a woodworker. I had my first craft business in fifth grade. My first customer was named Chip. I made him a little sign that said Chip, and it was mm. a dollar a letter. And I made four bucks on my first item. My dad still buys some of my craft items at garage sales in Long Island. Oh, forty fifty years wow. later. Yeah, he knows that it's mine. But yes, yeah, so I'm a semi expert now. I make bigger things. The question came in. What is the what when it comes to wood? What is the hardest wood? Mm. Well, I know the second hardest wood, Coca Bola. Have you ever heard of Coca Bola? No. It's from Africa. It's what every New York City cop would get a Coca Bola nightstick, mm. and that's the second hardest. Mm. The first hardest wood is uh, in my underwear. <laughs> balsa wood. Yeah, balsa wood. That's, yeah, it's a soft on. It's a soft on. Is that the softest wood? Balsa is. Balsa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. like those flying, they make a little balsa airplane. Balsa wood is unusually light. It's very it's very weird. But I think there's a there's other ones called iron wood. There's wood that could literally break your tools. Wow. Yeah, I stay away. They're so expensive. And, and then, they're hard. And I'm what's, not used to that. And what's so good about like pine? Because you always hear like a you know This is pine. Yeah. And what it's it's light to work with, it's fluffy, it's easy to cut, it's easy to sand, mm-hmm. and it, look how it finishes. It and looks it's beautiful. It's, it's semi inexpensive that's good um i was looking around your your room here this is like a little side room that you have and uh, i saw that what's the story with this this uh, ventriloquist <laughs> dummy it looks kind of creepy to tell you the truth they do i've never seen that before in my life i never even knew you even did this or had this Watch out! this is a puppet yeah. that um mimics another puppet that i had 
So I'll tell you quickly. I, I did a gig in Long Island. I lived in L.A. I did a gig in Long Island at Governor's. And for the whole weekend, I was there Wednesday through Sunday, a puppet like this laid in the corner. He had no box around him. He laid in the corner the whole weekend. People were kicking him to the side. So on the Sunday night show, I brought him out on stage. It looked just like this guy. Yeah. It looked like his brother. And I wind up, I dropped him. And the whole audience got invested that he might have got hurt. Oh. And as I picked him up, I threw him against the ceiling with all my might. And now everybody was like, ooh. And they would react to just the way I, you know, I just started to use him. And if he laughed at somebody, look, he covered his mouth. <laughs> so you wouldn't see that he was laughing. Yeah. So I kept the puppet. I put him on. Again, it's his brother. I yeah. put him on five or six of my episodes of one of my fix it shows where he got beat up. Now the puppet got beat up, scarred, and my Jimmy would paint them back over. And then I find out that one of the owners of Governor's Comedy Club in Long Island, this was the other puppet was his original partner. Oh. It was it meant a lot to him. And I didn't know that. I just yeah. found it. I thought I found it on the floor. Yeah. And years later, when I tried to get booked at Governor's, no sets. Mm. Then it wind up him and his buddies bought two other... I got banned from three comedy clubs because I found this puppet. What is that? Is so that, I bought yeah. this guy to replace him. Yeah. I went back there 10 years later and said, hey, I got you another puppet. And the guy said, look, I appreciate the offer, but it's not the original. Oh. So that's why I keep... What's, that, what's that on his lapel? There's like a sticker or something. That, believe it or not, that's a, a sticker from a cigar. Oh. You know how cigars have the little wrapper Yeah, around? yeah, yeah. But I thought it looked good like he was representing. Where do you, uh, is that like a generic puppet? Like there's many that there's look the, like I that? I think there's a few. It's not like custom made or nothing. And how much does that cost? This is only like a 40 or $50 thing because look, yeah. you can't put your hand up and under. Oh. So this is like a little like, what? I wonder if the same joke, I wonder if the Hold joke. On, look. Yeah. Tell I, I got the pocket party card cash. I got 60 listeners. <laughs> <laughs> what up? dude i see why people get pissed off and want to stab a puppet because it's like it's, you know like hey i'm a nice guy but then this guy's insulting as hell yeah yeah i got one for you okay uh hold on yes i'm darren carter i'm at the punjab palace this weekend <laughs> <laughs> All right. Dude, this is depressing. <laughs> this is hey, can we have him as a listener? There'll be another listener. That, there you uh, go. We'll add it to our collection. Okay, in closing, uh, this is going to go up very soon. Thanksgiving, Christmas, that season. Right. Do, do you have any? Uh, uh, what are what are three things that you're thankful for? Three things that make you happy. The happy three. Tell our listeners. Oh that. well, overall, I'm happy that uh, every one of my family is healthy. Yes. Uh, I'm happy that I'm hanging on to this. I mean, I know it's a five head. It used to be a four head, right? <laughs> it's on its way to being a six head, but right now it's five. Yeah. It's a solid five. Um, I'm happy that I'm still able to woodwork and do stand-up comedy. Um, I'm happy I just discovered two metal bands that are beyond Black Sabbath. They're Black Sabbath if they were uh, on steroids. Wow. So one is called Sleep and one is called um, Stoned Jesus. And they're similar to Black Sabbath in the early 70s if they mm. were on steroids. And my fondest Christmas memory is very strange. I had a great uh, childhood in Long Island. My dad would do the best. He would get stuff for Christmas. You know, he really put an effort into it. However, years later, when I was a New York City cop, I worked nine at night to six in the morning in the homeless outreach unit. Mm. And one night, me and my uh, partner, we called him Grandpa because he was bald. He had hair just on the side. <laughs> yeah. And his name, me and Grandpa, we had five or six clients. Those would be stinky, homeless bums in the back of the van. And we picked him up out in Queens. And um, Kenny said, his name is Kenny, Grandpa said, hey, we're, we're right by the most decorated Christmas block in all of New York City. It oh, wins every so year. cool. I love that. Howard Beach. By New Park Pizza, <clears throat> where John Gotti owned a house, mm. and where my wife Fran grew up, Howard Beach, Queens. In, in Fresno, they call that Candy Lane. Do they, okay, is, is well, there... you know, there was, it didn't have a name. Yeah. But it, it won every year. So we went with, this is Christmas Eve, right around midnight, with hundreds of people, news trucks, me, Kenny Gallina, who was grandpa, <laughs> and five or six bums. I mean, stinkers with 17 coats and... You know, paper hats. 
and uh, it was fun. It was like you know they sang Christmas carols and oh. and, and, and and people. We just had a windbreaker that said police. We weren't in uniform, but you know everyone's giving us the high sign. Hey, you want a beer? Come to the back. I got beers. And uh, and then to cap it off, I had brought cookies in from my wife's sister Kathy, and in the homeless outreach van on the way to the shelter, we all shared um, sprinkled Christmas cookies. Ah, oh, that's cool, man. Brought a tear to my eye. Dude, that's great. John, have a great Thanksgiving. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. Yeah, for sure. Dude, I remember you did a podcast with me in 2019 and it was getting ready to be 2020. And you go, and you go, hey, I got this for the year 2020. And it was like 2020, I can see clearly now or something oh, like wow. that. Oh, wow. I don't remember it. You said that you had some kind of catchphrase like 2020, 20- COVID. Yeah, you didn't know that was coming. No. You're like, it's going to be a great year. Our year, 2020. No, now it's 2022 is my year. <laughs> yeah, baby. All right, buddy. I'll see you later. Thank you. And In my balls. Goodbye to the little dummy over there. Watch out. <laughs> hey, look. You have a fan. Oh, got a bing. By the way, here I am acting with John Travolta in the movie Be Cool. Check it out. If you like the show and you want to show your support, every little bit helps. Go to DarrenCarter.com. I'm on PayPal or Venmo at Darren Carter Comic on Venmo. Also, I'm available on Cameo. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. The Pocket Party.